Hi everyone, welcome back. It's the Lux Bag Princess and today we are going to be talking Louis Vuitton special orders. So I actually am kind of doing this as like a two-part thing where I am revealing um, my most recent special order purchase which is right here. It is the absolutely beautiful Trevi GM in the monogram canvas and I'm also going to give you guys just kind of some general information about special orders because a lot of people are interested in them so just for some quick housekeeping oh I have this handy for some quick housekeeping I am the Lux bag princess you can find me on Instagram if you would like to shop source or consign with me you can also find me on Instagram at shop Lux bag princess I also have a repair shop at engineers do Lux and I am also on patreon <laughs> It's always a mouthful. Um, nonetheless, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning friend, thank you for sticking by me and supporting me. Um, just a little quick background on myself because I don't think I've done that in a while. Um, I'm the Lux Bag Princess. Formerly, I was the Louis Vuitton Princess for many, many, many years. Um, they deleted me in this big wave of cancellations. I don't know. That's history, but I'm the Lux Bag Princess now. Um, my name is Dee. I've been collecting Louis Vuitton for about a decade now. Um, very well known in the luxury resale community, still mostly as the Louis Vuitton Princess. Haven't really moved over yet. Um, that takes some time, but very well known in the community. I would say pretty well respected. My specialty is Louis Vuitton multicolor as well as affordable luxury handbag resale. Um, I by profession am a scientist and handbags are essentially my side passion that I like to do a lot with on the side. Again, collecting, sourcing, consigning, all of that good stuff. So today we're gonna to be talking about Louis Vuitton special orders and I figured what better way to introduce you guys to special orders than to show you guys some special orders. So again, I'm going to be revealing, uh, it's always backwards. I'm going to be revealing this special order to you guys, but I was gonna show you guys a few more prominent special orders that I have. So one of my all-time favorite special orders is the Louis Vuitton Compagne and this is in the special order Dami a bean. I absolutely love this piece because it honestly never made sense to me why they produced all of these toiletry pieces in monogram. It's a toiletry piece. It's probably going to be on a bathroom counter where there's water and other things. So why would you make it monogram? So when I saw this one, I was very, 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 very pleased. Um, this was basically like a dream come true, finding it in the Damier Abine. Now you will kind of see a theme that a lot of special orders are Damier Abine, and usually it is for that exact reason. People really, really like a bag or accessory style, but they don't wanna have to be worried about vachetta and water stains, etc. So so that is why you will see most special orders in the Zamier Abine, I feel. Um, you will see quite a few exotic special orders. Um, you don't see too many Zamier Azure special orders, but I do have a Zamier Azure special order. And you really, really, really don't see very many monogram special orders, which is why this bag here is so special because most bags are made in monogram. So you typically are not going to see special orders. Another very coveted special order that I actually just posted a video about. I think I have videos about all of these on my YouTube if you're interested in learning more about them. Um, but one of my most coveted special orders as well that I just posted about is my travel organizer. Again, this was another one of those pieces that I always really 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 loved always really enjoyed but I always had this opinion of like it's a travel organizer you're probably taking it on a plane or you know putting it in a security bin at the airport why would it be monogram um so this is one of my other favorite special orders I would say my most used bag is actually a special order and it is the Louis Vuitton Cabas Mezzo and this is as you can see again in the special order Damier Abine I use this bag basically every 
day. This is my work bag. I have the Cabas Mezzo in monogram and I sometimes switch between the two for work. But once again, this one usually gets used more often because it has that advantage of being rain or shine because it is Damier a beam. And I would say probably my most coveted special order. Um, I actually took this to the Louis Vuitton store um, when I went this past weekend and everybody lost their minds over it, like even the CAs because most people have never seen this, is my special order exotic St. Cloud PM. Um, these were very, 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 very rare. Um, back in the 90s and so this is my special order croc um, 24 karat saint cloud um, so those are some special orders to kind of make the introduction and a lot of people also ask well how do you get a special order made so i'll backtrack a little bit and just go back to what are special orders so I've shown you guys a few examples now, so you can probably put it together what they are, but essentially a special order, also referred to as made to order or referred to as custom, is when somebody requests for a Louis Vuitton piece to be made in a print or size. Um, you will rarely see them in size that the bag was not initially produced in. One of the first bags I saw that was truly, truly one of the ones that got away and I still lose sleep over it now was I actually saw a multicolor noir keep all 60 as you guys know those come in 45 but someone actually had one special order made in the 60 size which is like crazy um but nonetheless typically it is a bag that comes in a size or a um a print that it was not originally manufactured in. Um, special orders a lot of times are confused with being unauthentic because a lot of times you will see that in the replica world, they will produce bags in prints that were not originally, um, that bag was not originally made in. And so this does cause a lot of confusion around special orders where people are very quick to say, well, that's not real. They didn't make that bag in monogram. And it's like, Technically they didn't, but there were custom made ones in monogram. Um, I don't know the exact numbers for special orders anymore. I know a while ago when I was first researching them, special orders at one point were essentially the price of the item plus 15%. I think I read somewhere else that it then was the price of the item plus like 30%. So essentially, I don't know the exact number, but it is going to be some sort of situation where you buy the item and you pay for the price of the conventional item and you pay a percentage um, more for it to be made in a different print. Now, the main question I get, and I've gotten this question in my YouTube comments recently, is how does one place a special order? What is required to do it? Um, do they still take special orders? And that is a question that every time I am asked, the answer is always yes and no. Um, there was a couple years ago where Jeffree Star got a full hard-sided luggage like set that was made by Louis Vuitton in this like pink and white monogram that nobody has ever seen. Um, I've never seen it again and that was apparently a special order. Um, so it's always this thing of a yes and a no. I definitely absolutely am certain that Louis Vuitton does still do special orders, but I'm sure there's a lot more stipulations around it. I'm sure there's a lot more, um, you know, relationship building with an essay. I'm sure there's a lot more of like a spending cap. You need to be spending this amount. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more rules and stipulations because the reality is if there wasn't, everybody and their mother would be running and asking for special orders all the time. That's the reality. Um, I know even back in the day when a lot of these special orders that I have personally, because again, I've brought them secondhand. I know back in the day, um, just from looking at some of the older forums on the purse forum, the purse forum does have a special order forum, which is very, very informative. Um, I do know just from kind of studying those forums that um, a lot of the people who got special orders made were VICs. They were um, high spending clients. They did have very strong relationships. So I would assume that still holds in the present day as something um, that's required to make a special order. Um, again, 
I never say never. Maybe you will just walk in and ask for a special order and they may just make it. I don't know. But I do kind of see the theme of you typically have to be a high spender with a um, steady going relationship with an SA. So now that I've kind of covered this special order 101, um, now I'm going to show you guys my latest purchase, which is the special order Trevi GM in monogram. So I actually sold a Trevi GM a few months ago. I brought it for my mom. She didn't like it. <laughs> my mom always just cycles through bags like crazy she used it didn't like it so i sold it and now she is a suhali girl so i bought her a suhali locket which is her new baby um so i recently sold this and i was actually not a big fan of the trevi i've never been a big fan of the trevi um but I realized I was not a fan of the Trevi and Zamier a bean. The Trevi is 100% a bag that I think should be monogram. And I'm going to show you why. So there are a few Trevi special orders available online. Um, I have seen them in the PM and GM. There are a few out there. So there were quite a few people who had this idea to have the Trevi made in monogram. So let me go ahead and bring it down for you guys. I always have to figure out how exactly I'm gonna do this. There we go. So this is the, again, Louis Vuitton Trevi GM. And this is in the special order monogram. Um, so I am completely in love and obsessed with this bag. I currently have it wearing my Flor de Monogram bag charm. It also did, I was very grateful for this. It also did come with the traditional Trevi shoulder strap that is adjustable. Um, it did come with that shoulder strap. So I'm very, very, very happy with that. These bags in general, um, special order or not, getting the shoulder strap can sometimes be a toss up. Um, so this one I purchased from a large online reseller, which I typically don't do. As you guys know, I buy most of my bags in person to person sales, because as I've said many times, that is typically how you're going to save the most money. But I will say if you are hunting for special orders, you are more likely to actually find them at large resellers and you usually will find them for a good price. Large resellers... <laughs> I'm not going to go on my smear campaign, but large resellers usually are not invested in these brands that they sell. They usually don't care. They honestly could care less about brand history, brand lore, brand facts. They don't care. They're just, they just know it's an expensive item and they make money selling expensive items. They don't care about the rest. So you can leverage that for your advantage in the case of special orders, because a lot of times these bags will come through as these big companies get them in mass shipments and they don't know that the bag is special. Again, the people who are usually handling the bags at these big companies, they don't know anything about the brand. They don't know if the bag is special. So a lot of times they will take these special order bags Bags that are actually worth a lot of money they're actually worth a lot more than the traditional bag and they will sell them for either the same price as the traditional bag or sometimes even less because they just don't know any better use that to your advantage this bag was 100% an example of that where <laughs> this bag is without a doubt one of my best finds um, this bag was listed online originally around, I think, $770. And I originally saw it on eBay and I saw it on Posh. So then this is another trick I use, guys. I'm giving away, I'm giving away the game card for free. Anytime you see large resellers on other resale platforms like Posh, eBay, whatever, the prices are going to be marked up because those platforms take additional fees when the bags are sold. So go look for the exact same bag, but look for it on their actual website because it will almost always be cheaper and you can also use coupon codes on the website. That is what I did for this bag. Um, this bag, when it initially rung up on the website, it was less than what it was from Poshmark. And I don't remember all the numbers right now, but this is actually crazy. Um, the price that I paid for this bag total. So we're talking taxes, shipping, 
all that. The price I paid for this total was $669, which is insane. It is insane for a Trevi GM. It is ultra insane for a Trevi GM special order. It is ultra, ultra, ultra insane for a Trevi GM special order bag that is in decent condition. Um, again, why was this priced so low? I think they priced it really low because again, they didn't see anything special about it. It was just another Trevi. They probably get Trevi's in all the time. They probably had no concept of it being a special order, what special order even meant, knowing that special orders are more valuable. I'm sure they had no idea about any of that. And so they just kind of looked at it and was like, okay, on the market right now, the going rate, I would say for a mid condition Trevi is around 800 that is the rate that is around what I sold mine for um and this bag does have some wear so I'm sure they even knocked it down further than that and that's why I was able to get it for super cheap now as you guys know I don't really buy bags that have wear but I absolutely make exceptions to that rule if I am buying something that is a special order um if I'm buying something from like a super rare collection, like my Centenaire bags, I absolutely make exceptions to that rule because at the end of the day, this is a special order Louis Vuitton bag that I brought for around, like I said, $669. I can handle somewhere. So this is the exterior of the bag. As you guys can see, here is the front. Again, it's the beautiful monogram canvas. I've not cleaned it yet. It absolutely needs to be cleaned. Um, but this is the front, this is the back, super, 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 super beautiful. Here are the sides with those beautiful creases and hardware. Definitely need to clean in those creases. They're a little dirty. Here is the bottom of the bag, has feet. You guys know I'm a sucker for bags with feet. And here is that wonderful, I can take it off, I suppose. But here is that wonderful shoulder strap that I also told you guys about. Um, the Trevis have these straps. They are a little on the short side, but you absolutely can adjust them. You absolutely can adjust them. They have kind of like this loop around system which i really really like it offers a lot of adjustment but i would say this bag absolutely with the shoulder strap is still kind of meant to be a shoulder bag length and not really a crossbody perhaps the trevi pm you might want to wear as more of a crossbody but with this one like give you guys a little peek the Trevi GM, as you can see how it fits on me, it absolutely fits phenomenally as a shoulder bag. Um, again, I purchased this one. It came all the way from Dubai. Um, so this bag traveled a long, long way. I was very happy that it was shipped DHL. So I think it only took like maybe four days to get here, which was very, very good for coming all the way from Dubai. Um, I'm very, very, very happy with this bag. Um, the Trevi in special order monogram has absolutely been on my wish list for a very long time. As I said, it is one of the many special order bags that I feel like it looks best in the special order print. I 100% feel like the Trevi was made to be in monogram. It was produced again in the Damier Bean, but I feel like it was made to be in monogram. There is also a few special order Trevis in Damier Azure. I do think the Damier Azure is also really cute. I may or may not pursue the special order Trevi in Damier Azure, but the main unicorn of mine was the Trevi GM in monogram and it absolutely has not disappointed. I am so happy with this bag. I am so happy that I found it at a phenomenal price. I was on a bag buying ban, guys. Like I was really going hard with this bag buying ban, but it's like in the modern era, 
where Louis Vuitton bags have gotten really expensive. I would say anytime you buy a Louis Vuitton, like a larger bag, like a real handbag, and you're getting it for under a thousand, under 800, you have a good deal. A Louis Vuitton bag under 800 is a good deal in the modern era so i absolutely could not let this one slip through my fingers and as i said it was also one that has been on my wish list for a while so as always thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and hopefully i will have more special orders to show you guys soon it is like my little side project with my louis vuitton collection i love special orders they are my favorite things to collect i love sharing them with people i love to Teaching people about them because lots of people are curious about them and um, as always if you'd like to connect with me my link tree will be in the description below if you'd like to shop source or consign with me make sure you stop by my Instagram shop Lux Bag Princess and if you're just interested in seeing more of my handbag collection make sure you stop by my Instagram the Lux Bag Princess